Hello, friends. I'm back with another unboxing. I've got part two here of the Curiosity Inc. Collector's House series. I bought some mystery boxes from the auction, mis uh, reseller mystery boxes. And I'm going to open them up with you so that you can see what I got. And so I've done the first box. Now I'm on to my second box. And Curiosity Inc., if you don't know it, is a great channel out of Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. I really encourage you to go and watch it, but I warn you, it's addictive. <laughs> they are wonderful people. And Alex and Melissa clear out houses of people that have sort of lots of stuff and lots of good collectibles, and then they sell them off in auctions. So without further ado, I will get uh, showing you some of what what I saw when I went to the auction. I'll show you those pictures first because I think those are, you know, it's kind of interesting to sort of see what I saw. So this is, I think, the box we're going to be opening now because I've already opened the other box. So this is the only things I know that are going to be in this box. So two, a cream and sugar that I believe are Carlton Ware. Somebody thought that this was a Middle Eastern bowl, so we'll see what about that. And then this Nippon creamer, I guess, lidded creamer. So what do you think? <laughs> Are you ready to see what I got inside my box? Let's see. Okay. Lots of newspaper first. So what I see on top is something red. So I'll pull that out first. And it's big. Quite big. It looks like it's ceramic of some kind. I'm going to do it with my scissors. Let's see what we've got here. Oh, interesting. It looks like maybe a Christmas dish of some kind, maybe? I don't know. We're going to find out, aren't we? Well, let's see what we got. It looks like there's two pieces to it. Huh. Okay, so there's this. This is the first thing I see is a envelope. And inside it is a plate. A pretty plate. That's really neat. Look at the pattern on that. Is that an M? No, it's not an M. It's just a um what do you call it like sconces and on the back it says trademark ebd burs bursalem b-u-r-s-l-e-m queen anne and then there's a registration number of 105096 hmm, that's pretty specific we'll be able to do some research on that won't we and be able to age it so remember, I'm opening this and I haven't researched anything. So if you want to help me out, please do help me out in the comments. If you want to research things, if I've given you the information, go right ahead. If you knock yourself out, if you want to help me out, that would be great. Um, if not, I will, you know, I'll do it on my own. Then we'll see how old this plate is. But that's kind of neat. So that's the first thing that I see. And this next, the red thing. Hmm. It says price vintage ashtray and it had a price of $15 on it. Huh. Taking those stickers off. And so there's the ashtray. Very mid-century mod. Very different. Looks like a homemade piece, I would guess. You know, there's no maker's mark or anything on there. Well, is that a name up there? DM. Yeah. So somebody's done this in ceramics class. <laughs> so really fun. Now this is a real centerpiece ashtray. Just checking to see if there's any damage at all. I don't see anything from a quick look. So yeah, if you want a big funky ashtray, gotcha that. And so what do you do if you're interested in something that I show you? Well, what you do is you can send me an email to vintageurist.shaw.ca and um, offer me a price. And if I like your price, I will take it. Uh, if, you know, I don't, if you don't know what to offer and I'll give me, you're going to have to give me some time to research 
and come up with a price for you. Otherwise, I'll be bringing stuff to my live sales every Tuesday at 6 p.m. Pacific. I have a live sale on this channel where I sell all sorts of good vintage goodies. So come and join us and have some fun. It's really, really fun. All you have to do is pre-register at Vintageris.com. And I'll put the information in the description below. So I hope you come and join us on Tuesday and have a giggle. So let's keep going and see what I have. Okay, well, this is the next thing I see. So it's wrapped in, um, what do you call it? Like shrimp, shrimp wrap. And then I see some, you know, packing. Um, what's that called? Like, I don't even know what to call that, where it's, you know, that packing material that's kind of all, um, it's kind of the recycled, right, version of bubble wrap where it's, it's, um, paper that's been sort of cut to create bubbles okay so there's the first layer off and then this layer i hope it's something valuable hey they've packed it well <laughs> let's hope okay what have we got here oh an interesting wall pocket a really interesting wall pocket look at that and then there's characters on the back I'm not sure whether it's Chinese or not. So everything seems to have a price on it. So maybe they were trying to sell some things in a antique mall or something. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's neat. It's in good shape. I don't see any damage to it at all. And it's got kind of gold paint on top of the other paint. Interesting, very interesting. So I'll put, that's the characters. I'll have to do kind of a Google lens on that one. Yeah, hmm. interesting. And you can tell me a timestamp too of the things that you see that you like. Uh, you know, that helps me too to make sure that we're talking about the same thing. Okay, so that was that. So now, so those were outside and that's what I, now I'm seeing the box that was in the picture, interesting. So let me pull out. Oh my gosh, they have packed this in. <laughs> Ooh, the thing about doing these unboxings, you never know what you're gonna what you're gonna find inside, right? There, oh, it's always a oh my goodness, it's heavy. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. So it was like a box inside a box. I'll have to check and see if there's anything in this other box that I missed. Oh my goodness. Let me just check that first. Kind of get this box out of the way. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I think this is just all packing material. But a funny thing, when I if you if you watched my um um, if you watch my Madam Rack unboxings, what I found was that they use a lot of um, packing peanuts. And was it wasn't until I was like putting the boxes away that I discovered more little things because they were just kind of buried in the peanuts. So now I'm very careful about, you know, making sure that I've got everything. Um, yeah, so, okay, here's the... So this is now this box that we saw in the picture. It's all taped up. So I have to open this up now. Oh, the anticipation. Anticipation. It's making me wait. <laughs> yep, you're having to be patient. Okay, I think we got a lot of ceramics and china on this one. This one looks good. Guys, this one looks good. This one I'm excited about. Oh, what have we got? Oh, we'll see if it's more homemade stuff or whether it's, you know, collectibles. Such a mystery. Now, do you like mystery boxes? Is this something that you would buy? When I was a little kid, I've probably told this story on my channel a few times because my mom knows this about me, my sisters, my brother, they all know that I love a good mystery. 
and um, mystery box, I mean. Like, I used to be the kid that, you know, if they had one of those um, jump, not what do they call it, um, loot bags, you know, or like surprise bags, surprise bags in a candy store or something that I wanted the candy, I wanted that surprise bag. Something with a handle. They've used all this nice recycled um, packing material, so I'll make sure, oh my goodness, what is this? Collectible bear wear, it says on here on the sticker. Okay, so what have we got here? It is a Boyd's, the Boyd's Collection Limited Bearware Pottery Works, Ms. Bruin Afternoon Tea, and then it's got a number and everything. So there it is. So it's a mug, a teddy bear mug, with a, and here's the, the bottom of it. Huh. So I'll be curious to look this up. And then there's a, like a, a piece of paper in here. Let's see if I can hold it so that's it's kind of crinkled, but um, that explains it. Let's see if I can get my finger out of the way so you can see all the words here. Hmm. So what it says is Boyd's Ms. Bruin Afternoon Tea Limited Edition Mug. The Boy by the Boyd's Collection Bearware Pottery Works. The Boyd's Collection Limited began as an antique shop in the home of its founder, chairman, emeritus, and head bean, GM Lowenthal, and his partner, now wife, Justin Unger Lowenthal. The company expanded into decoy ducks, wood, wool teddy bears, and gnome houses. In 1987, the firm relocated to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, and the company continued to grow. In 1993, Boyd's released its first series of resident figurines, the Bearstone Collection, and followed that with Folkstone, Doll Stones, and a host of other wacky, wacky resin characters. And it goes on. Hmm, interesting. So, are you a Boyd's collector? <laughs> Have I got a mug for you? Okay, what's next? Here's the next little bit, a nice little bundle. Oh, this looks like a creamer, but it's not the creamer that we saw in the picture. So what is it? Let's see. Creamers are great, right? Love, love creamers. You know, I use them, you know, for having water to put in an iron or having water to put in my little diffuser thing or you know, I don't just use them for pre. Oh, this is a nice one. Oh, it matches the plate. It matches that plate. Look at that. Isn't that neat? That's a really neat pattern. Ooh, I like that. I like the ridges in that one, and I like how it's kind of tall. So this is, you know, so this one just says on the bottom, it's just got a stamp with a registration number. But this is the same one as the plate, right? See? Oops. Stuck to the, <laughs> to the envelope. So here, let me put that down. There we go. So there, see how they match? Isn't that neat? I like that. That's something I would probably have purchased if I'd seen it because it's really neat. I'm just going to close this flap so that it doesn't keep sticking on things. Okay. Oh, there's lots of little goodies in here. Here's another one. Now, do you think that this is the sugar maybe to go with that creamer? We will see. I wonder if I have like I see a big I see a big platter in here. I see a lot of like little things too. Hmm. So what what is in here? Okay. Oh, here's that orange bowl. Here's the orange bowl. Now, somebody said they thought it was Middle Eastern. So there's the back stamp. Get the camera to focus on it a bit better. I'm going to bring the light a little bit closer here. Might help a little bit. 
Can you see that back stamp? There, hold it still there for a bit. So it's really pretty. A little orange bowl, the gold rim there. Yeah, it's neat. It's really neat. A little gold arrow up. Yeah, I like that. Okay. What's next? Okay, another little goodie. Mm -hmm -hmm. So whoever did the packaging this time doesn't seem to like bubble wrap. They seem to be using more um, newspaper and um, shrink wrap. Interesting technique. When I've ordered stuff from Kazner's before, it's been usually bubble wrap and then that stretch wrap. I guess they're trying to go more environmental. Okay, so this is one of those pieces. It's Wade Heath. It's not Carlton Ware. So it's Wade Heath. That's cool. Look at that. Neat. That's really nice. Wade Heath, England. Cool. Oh, and there's a little note in here gives you all the history of the wade pottery as well so somebody did their homework and like to put the little little notes for everybody it's not neat so i'm guessing that this was maybe maybe she had or hoped to have an antique shop at some, at some point hmm. do you remember them saying anything about the owner having an antique shop or selling anywhere. It's interesting. I don't really remember that in the, I think, I think she talked about it, right? Wanting to do it, but did she actually do it? I don't know. Or maybe it was garage sales or maybe it's what, well, the price she paid. Maybe it's what she bought it for. I don't know. Who knows? So here's the creamer to go with it. Beautiful. These are gorgeous. Again, the Wade. So this looks old, hey? The Wade Pottery. Huh. Wade Bramble, England. I just love that set. That's gorgeous. Very cottage core. If you like the kind of cottage core look, you'd like those, I'm sure. Okay, so now I've got something that's a little bit bigger. What is this? What do you think this is? Is it a bowl? I'm going to guess a bowl. You can play along and you can guess what each thing is before I unwrap it. See how, how right you are or wrong you are. It's hard to tell, isn't it, from just the packaging. And I know some people like the sound of the me unwrapping. Some didn't in my other unboxings. So if you don't like it, maybe turn the volume down a bit. Okay, another ceramic. Oh, look, guys. Look. It's the bowl. Oh, and it says three-piece set. Take off her price, the prices. I don't know, again, whether she was selling it at that or she was buying it at that. So that's a really nice bowl with that same pattern. And then is there more bowls? Is it like a nesting situation? Oh, no, no, no. That's another one of the orange bowls that we showed here earlier. And then what's in this one? Oh, another one. <laughs> so now we got up to three. Wow, neat. I love this pattern. I'm really loving this pattern. That's really, really neat. So now we've got a creamer, a bowl, and a plate. What else are we going to find? Are we going to find more pieces, do you think? We shall see. We shall see. Okay, something pointy. Oh, I wonder if this is like a, a little figurine, a gnome or something. Wouldn't that be neat? What do you think? Do you think it's like a little gnome, pointed head gnome? What else could be pointed? Oh, oh, no. It's a wall pocket. It's a wall pocket. Is that broken on the end? No, it's just a dint. It just goes like 
it's not broken at all. It's just that it's a little bit of dent. And it looks like it's got popcorn and a little cherub. And it's like ceramic. Let's see if there's, I'm taking the sticker off to see if there's like a marker, a maker's mark. I don't see anything. Yeah, no maker's mark. But that's cute. It'd be super cute for Christmas, wouldn't it? I could see like um, um, tinsel and that sort of stuff, or I could also see like gold branches or even holly, right? Would be really neat in there as well. So that's neat. I'll maybe save that one for my Christmas um, in July sale that I'm going to do in July. That would be a cool thing to have for that. Vintage Christmas, hey, so hard to find, but I've been saving it up and buying it when I can so I can have a really cool vintage in her Christmas in July sale. I'm not sure the date just yet in July, but I will let you know for sure. I'll announce it in the live sale and I'll also put it up on my, U uh, my Instagram channel. So if you haven't checked out my Instagram, it's a good place to go to um find out what i'm up to oh now this is neat look at this oh i absolutely adore china with a black background oh wow oh little chip little chip but that is really really cute so what is it staffordshire stuff stafford shafford no shafford hand painted Shafford hand painted. Get it focused. I'm on light or camera, I mean. I think the camera likes my necklace better. Hmm. That's kind of neat though. That's really cool. You know what this would be really neat for? To it's a, a sugar dish, but it would be really cool to put a candle in there, wouldn't it? Oh, neat, 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 neat. Okay. I pour a soy candle in it. So this is the next one. What do you think this is? No idea. <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. Goodness gracious, what could it be? What could it be? Let's see, let's see. Oh, oh, I think it's a creamer. I think I see a spout. So maybe, oh, wouldn't that be neat if that's the black, right? To go with that sugar dish, that would be neat. Let's see, no, no, oh, no, I think this is that little uh, creamer, lidded creamer. Is that what you would call this? I think you'd call this a lidded creamer. I'll take the prices off later. Um, but it's neat. It's hand painted. It's actually beautiful. The hand painting is beautiful on this. Don't see any chips or cracks. Uh, it looks in great shape. So there's the creamer part. Very, very pretty um, gold and floral sort of pattern on there. Should ignore the price tags. I'm not sure what I'll be selling it at because I don't even know what this is worth, right? I got to figure that out before I I price it. So I'll take those off so it doesn't confuse people. Um, so it just says, well, it's got the, the M and then the wreath and the Nippon as a back stamp. But yeah, no, it looks in great shape. Maybe a little bit of wear, you know, to the paint a bit, but no, it's in pretty good shape. That's cute, very cute. Well, I'm getting a pile here. Okay, oh, so now I've got a, <laughs> a frame of foil, or a frame of foam. Oh, okay, this looks like a teapot without a lid so let's see what this is let's see what this is now teapot without bubble wrap hmm 
I don't think I'd ever ship it like this. <laughs> Teapots, you got to be really careful of the spout and, you know, protect it in shipping. Oh, look what it is. And the spout's okay. Look what it is. It is the teapot to match those bowls. Interesting. Well, I hope the lid's in here somewhere. Because that's really neat. I'm running out of room here. Let me put it on this side. Oh, oh, it's got a chip. Oh, dear. It's got a chip right there. That's too bad. Hmm. But somebody might love that just because... It matches, right? Let's see if there's more. Okay, another odd shape one. What do you think that is? How many more do we have? Oh, we've got about two more smaller things, and then it looks like there's some platters and stuff. So let's see what we've got here. Are you liking this? Is this fun? Let me know in the comments about what you thought about this, right? What was your favorite thing? What did you not like? Do you think I got a good deal? What do you think? Oh, 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 look what I found. Nice. The creamer to go with that gorgeous sugar. Ooh, I really love this set. That's really neat. Oh, and there's a paper inside again telling the history of Shafford hand-painted pottery. So isn't that neat? So she's written up the history of the Shafford pottery and neat. Does it say what pattern this is? Let's see. Mm. It doesn't say what this specific one is but I will read this better and be prepared for when this goes to one of my live sales, unless somebody offers me up something in by email. That's a neat piece. I love that set. That's a really neat cream and sugar. Okay, another little ball. So this is almost all ceramics, look at this one. Ceramics and China and yeah, neat. Oh, ooh, look at that. Very deco. Now that is, I know this. I know this uh, pattern. Oh, I'm gonna cheat. Sandalware. No, that's no, no. Sand, sand land wear. Okay, that's not what I was gonna guess. Lancaster. Sandland Limited, Hanley, England. But I definitely have seen this type of pattern before. In fact, I've got a creamer and a sugar just up on my shelf over there that's gold with this silver. I mean, it's white with this, the gold instead of silver, but this is a silver one. Isn't that neat? Ooh, love it, love it, love it. No chips, nowhere to even the silver. It's kind of reflecting there, but it's that's not any color loss or anything on the paint. It's an absolutely great shape. And once again, there's a little note inside. Beautiful Sandland, Sandland Wear Gold Luster Creamer. I would call this silver, not gold, but made in Staffordshire, England. Cool. Before 1968, it says. Neat. I wonder if there's going to be the, the sugar to go with that. Do you think that's the sugar, maybe? Maybe. Maybe. It's a nice, cute little one. It's like a individual one, right? For one person, which is fun. Because then you can, you know, put it on the table for a special occasion. Guess what it is? Guess what it is? cute it's the it's the sugar dish that is a super cute little set like look how tiny they are right there these are tiny and this has got some crazy but i don't see any chips what's that though hmm, no there's maybe a little flea bite along the rim there but it's not bad 
I can see it. Let's see. Where was that? Da, 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 there. You can see it. Uh, maybe it won't even show up on camera. Yeah, it's because it's so small. Neat. That's a cute little set. Look how it stacks inside each other. That's neat. I like that a lot. That's very cute. Very cute. Okay. Well, there's one more. This feels like a little dish of some kind. Oh, yay. Where's my teapot? What did I do with it? I'll put it over here. It's the lid. It's the lid for the teapot. Yay. Hooray, hooray. Okay, so then, oh my goodness, look at this. Look at this. <laughs> it's a big plate to go with it. And it says made in USSR. So it is Russian. Well, we thought Middle Eastern, but it's Russian. Maybe she said Russian, but I thought she said Middle Eastern. That's cool. Huh. Wow. Orange set, five pieces. Orange set, five pieces. Okay, so there was the teapot. So that's two. And this platter is three. And then the three bowls. Well, I would call it six pieces, actually. But, yeah, so I would call it six pieces. But neat. Wow. Very cool. So that's that. Nice and bright and cheery, right? What's this? It's a big platter. And a big, big bubble wrap bag. <laughs> they can get inside and pull it out. Oh, very deco. Very art deco. So this is a clear platter. Now this is this is quite quite big. I would say it's probably well. I've got my my ruler here. If you don't mind me joggling you over a little bit here. Let's see. Yeah. See, it's about fifteen, just over maybe fifteen and a quarter, maybe fifteen and a half inches from handle to handle. That's a big platter and it's divided, so that's cool. Wouldn't this be fabulous for a charcuterie? Or, you know, like a big, like, mixed mixed uh, snacks, you know, kind of platter? That would be neat, really neat for that. Okay, there's one more thing, but I think, oh no, it's just another piece of foam. Another piece of foam at the bottom. So that is all she wrote. <laughs> So what did you think? Did you see anything that you liked? Did you, uh, you know, got your heart set on something? Let me know in the comments below. And we'll see you on Tuesday at one of my live sales. It's 6 p.m. Pacific. Just come on back and join in on the fun. Thanks, everyone. Stay safe. Love everyone. See you soon. Bye now.